Welcome back to my channel. I've been gone for the month. It's been super busy. I'm going to make this page for Scrap Timber. And so that's from the Scrappy Sisters and Laura Alberts. And these are the prompts for the month. I'm going to do three of them today, even though we're almost done. My whole intention was to, to do all of them, but yeah, work and life got in the way. So <laughs> that happens. So I'm going to use some of these papers. They are an eight by eight. I'm going to scrap this picture of my daughter's from 2020. I'm going to use a white card base, which or white card stock base, which is one of the prompts. And I'm also doing the sketch that you've seen in the beginning part of this. And so I'm just punching some hexes out from my punch and I don't make you watch all that in this really old pattern paper that I have. So I've had it, some of it I wanted to do my oldest baby album in and still not done her baby album, but meh, that is what it is. So I'm just going to back this four by six in black. You can see I have two of these here. So I am going to do another one for my youngest or my oldest, whichever one they want in theirs. They'll look pretty similar, I think, when I do this, because I really like the way this one turns out. So I'm just looking at backing the photo in a different pattern paper. So not that one, not this one, not that one, not this one. So I think I'm going to do this one. And just because the orange and the pink pulls in a lot of the orange in the pink from the other pattern papers. And I'm just checking as a guide for where to cut around the black because I want it the same um, and I just line it up on the the piece that holds the paper down so and then I was looking at this he these hexes and they look like they were getting a little bit lost so and it does look like on the um, sketch that they do have the hexes backed in a color too so I'm gonna back mine in black because that really pops I didn't make you watch me put them all down. So I didn't put some in the middle there because my um, photo is going to cover that. And I did cut some of those um, flower, orange flower ones that I backed the photo in um, a little wonky because sometimes you only need three quarters of one. But I decided that I definitely did want to have full hexes there and then I'm just going to take some of these scraps from this scrap that I just cut off and I'm going to back the rest of them just like that. So I did put the glue on or the tape runner on this side and then you can see it so I'm just going to take it off real quick turn it around and put it on again or use a different one but and then that works better and then I'm just going to Fussy cut all the way around these. I'm not going to make you watch all of that, but I'm going to take a look and see if there's anything else I want to add on before. There'll be a couple more of these that go on. So there is definitely a pattern there. There's four different papers that I've used, and now I'm going to fussy cut. So you get that done, and so it kind of looks like this. This one I'm going to cut off because I just like it off. And then I'm going to back a few more of these. And these ones I'm going to cut all the way around. So they're going to kind of look like they're falling maybe out of the hexagon um, grid piece. So I'm just going to fuss with them for a little bit. Because I haven't really scrapped much in the whole month of September, this took me a lot longer than I actually anticipated it taking, but I don't know. I feel like when you haven't scrapped for a little bit, you end up doing more fussing than when you're doing it regularly. So hopefully I will have more time on my weekends now to, to do more scrapping and more videos, but it's been a busy month. So I am a teacher, so back at school for September, which makes it busy to begin with. And then I am, I also had a stove die and I have two kids that went back to school. So September was just crazier than I was expecting it to be, but that is what it is. So just get this photo down. And 
And then I'm going to fill in a few of these pieces around the back this one. It's going to go at the top and it's just going to hang off the top just to bring the design up a bit more. So about there. And adding some more hexagons, just covering them up in the black. And fussing. When I do this the next time, because I'll do something very similar for my other daughter, um, I might even use the same papers. I literally can just count how many of each I need now, so which makes it super a whole lot easier. Super, super fast for the next one. And then I think I'll actually pull a sheet of eight and a half by 11 black um, cardstock and I'll adhere all of these to begin with. So it makes it a little bit easier, or should anyway. My embellishments will be a little bit different because I don't have the same embellishments left. So I did faff about a little bit more. So I did cut a little bit of that out because it did take a while. And then I look through my wood veneer box. So this was an old tea box and I just have bits and pieces in. So I'm just gonna do a big pile here. And then I'm going to get this down because I was like, oh, I still haven't put this down. There's no point in putting other stuff on until I can get this down. So just getting it on. I really like that flowered one, but I don't know if it actually gets on. And then I had forgotten, but these white pieces of cardstock from, um, I think they're Recollections, are not 12 by 12. A lot of their papers are, but these ones for some reason are not. So in the sketch, there is a whole bunch of embellishment down this whole side. And so I was thinking about using the wood veneer. I just, I wasn't feeling it. So I decided to go get some letters to do the title first. So I was thinking hugs and something like summer hugs or hugs. I don't know. The hugs makes it about that far. And then I'm like, mm, I don't like that. And so I think these stickers are probably from basic gray. I think. Um, so then I was like, ah, we could do PJs all day because this is in the afternoon um, on a weekday during um, school shutdown. So we were all online. Um, I homeschooled at this time too. So it was only, um, they were only at school two days a week anyway. So it made it really not as big of a deal for us to be at home and online. And so my girls liked not having to get dressed every day. So I pulled out the, the day is in a orange thickers. And so I decided I like that better. So I'm just going to go for it. So it's going to be PJs all day in this orange. I like that more. I was thinking of using the apostrophe, but I don't think it needs it. And then I'm going to use the, these, I think they're basic gray, but they have a 2020, but a big 20 and a little 20. And I just decided to go with it because yeah, it is what it is. And then I put down these um, wood veneer flowers. Wow, my brain. And then I put an enamel dot on the center so I can adhere them in a minute with some foam dots and I'm just playing around with some of the my stash I have. So some of this is Studio Calico, some of this is Ali Edwards, some of this is uh, I don't know, but I'm just getting some bits and pieces down and I decided just to do the corners and I like that a whole lot more than trying to bring it up the side. And it frames in the picture and the title a little more like I like it too. So and now I'm going to struggle with this foam dot that didn't really want to stick. I don't know what was happening. So I had to replace it. There we go, replacing it. And so that works out better. And then just getting some of this other stuff down. So this is a wood heart and I can't remember if it's Ali 
Edwards or Studio Calico, but they're super cute and tiny and I love them, but I haven't used them for, haven't even thought of using them. So using up some of my stash that you could say I've been hoarding these. So three of them will get on this page and some enamel dots will get on this page. I actually use up a whole sheet of them, which is exciting. And then this chipboard that could be, I think the chipboard is, I don't know, Studio Calico or Ali Edwards. They use this similar style and color. So one or the other, <laughs> I don't know. They're old too. So, and so I'm getting some of these yellow dots on they're literally all going to go on these enamel dots. And then some of these, which I can see are Studio Calico. And they're kind of see-through-ish. So, translucent, I think, is the word I'm looking for. And then I thought that's darker orange here, but I decided, nope, this one instead. Or this shape instead. Because it fills up that space a little bit more. And then... I do want to get some of these hummingbirds on. I think I got these from the dollar store and I did pull three of them out. So I'm going to find them and get them on. And there's these four more yellow dots left. And I just want to get them used up and so I don't have to put them away because why not? Those ones are done just looking at this and so I decided it needed a bit of a border so I went and grabbed some more black and so which means I have to um, slice this down just a little bit more <laughs> but that's okay so my blade did not go through all three layers sometimes it does that time it didn't which is easy enough and then just that time it did and then I put it down and I go and I put it down a little wonky and I'm like huh I kind of like that so just going to double check that my black is actually 12 by 12, which it is, which is kind of funny. Sorry about that wiggle. So I'm going to get this on, but I'm going to put it on crooked. And then I'm just going to trim off the, the overhang. And it's almost done. Actually, it is done after I do this. And so I'm going to pick it up and show you a little bit up close. You can see a little bit of that dimension of the flowers, what I was trying to show. And there'll be some close-ups here. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are happy to have me back too, that would be awesome as a thumbs up. There'll be a, another video from about a month ago linked here. And I am hoping to post here um, three days a week again. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day.